First off, you need to bleed out all the air in the compressor. Second thing you need to do is uh, remove these two Phillips screws uh, on each side of the uh, motor head. And uh, then the head will slide off. Slide the the motor head this way and it'll come off. Then there are several T20 torque screws you need to remove. This whole pump assembly will just pull right out. Next you want to do is jam a screwdriver into the uh, flywheel. And uh, take this uh, this screw off. It is a seven thirty seconds for this one uh, hex T Allen. Next, you need to remove the head. So you can uh, access the, uh, the end of the cylinder. It'll come out. This one happens to be a 5 16 As you can see, this, uh, this thing is rather worn, and that's why it doesn't have good compression anymore. The connecting rod uh, nut needs to be uh, torqued to uh, 30 foot-pounds.
and uh, the head just needs to uh, be snugged up to around five foot pounds uh, since all there is holding that on there is a uh, uh, o-ring and you, if you over tighten it um, it'll split and leak After setting the uh, compressor and the, uh, the motor back in, close attention needs to be um, for uh, this cord here so it doesn't come in contact with the fan. And there are wires underneath that have a uh, small area where they go in so they don't get pinched and this hose needs to be in its uh, its area as well After I uh, put it back together, one of these uh, rubber pads fell off and I did not realize it was sitting on the ground. Um, there are two on each side of the compressor, two on each side of the motor, and one on the bottom of the uh, motor assembly that uh, need to be on for vibration. And then we can uh, put the uh, screws on each side there that'll lock it on and uh, we're all ready to test it.